Okay, yo guys, what's up? I'm here to show a battle that me and my friend Baxter had. So, um, this is a battle we just had recently. So he's using a a team, this team, yeah, and I'm using this team. So, let's check this battle out. I apologize for the lighting. It's really dark. So yeah, so I lead off with this Metagross, predicting the Regirock lead. And indeed, he does lead off with this Regirock. We are actually about to see. You know, this Regirock doesn't have pressure. So yeah, he has Switcheroo, and he's Choice Scarfed. He gets my leftovers. I hit him with the Meteor Smash. Turns out he's not Regirock. He's Hypno. So, you know, that Choice Scarf actually ends up helping me out a little bit later on in the battle, but we'll get into that later. So I hit him with the Meteor Smash to take off about half of his health. He brings in this freaking Zapdos. Then I bring hidden with another meteor, another meteor smash. Yeah, doesn't do much since it's not very effective. So this Zapdos has Drizzle because it's a special Zapdos. Uh, it's from his own tier list that him and friend Hanlock made up. So then predicting him to go for the Thunder, I switch into Nidra King, and. I was right, so I expected him to switch out, predicting the Ice Beam, so I go for the Fire Blast, but he does not, and I missed anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. He goes for the Thunder Wave, predicting me to switch out, double out, into possibly something else. But that does not happen, so I switch out, knowing that I can't do anything to it. I switch into my Chrono, which is my Clay Doll. Shouts to Chrono Trigger. Hits me with the Hurricane, does a lot of damage, considering that I am specially defensive. So, from the damage... I can get, <laughs> I can uh, see that he's definitely a special attacker, but I do have the rest Chesto Berry uh, with this Clay Doll. I've not played competitive Pokemon in a while. I don't know, it just hasn't interested me recently. But see, so, yeah, I get the rest off. And he switches out, knowing that this can just go on and on and on. He switches into this Rotom now. This is just... I go for the Psychic. And then he's a little bit of stall, I believe. He goes. He sets up Calm Minds, and this thing does have Speed Boost, so he can set up Calm Minds. I'm gonna set up Cosmic Powers. It's gonna be stall, so I'm just gonna skip past some of it. This is gonna take forever, I know. And he has to make the Shadow Ball, but that's not important. Because it doesn't do much damage anyway. I'd rather just skip past it than... So, the stall goes go on for some time. Not too much time. I mean, around like 10 turns, I would say. Before I be rational and I switch out. So this thing is starting to get up Calm Minds and Speed Boost while the stall is going on. I'm trying to set up Cosmic Powers, so I, I'm trying to get Psychic so I can wear down Special Defense. Um, but you know, life is hard when you're a Clay Doll versus a Rotom fan. More stall. I apologize for this. This is just how the battle went. Da -da 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 I think he, the stall, stops in a minute. Maybe like one more turn. Not yet, but yeah, I think he kills off Chrono there. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and then here goes even more stalling. I apologize for all the stalling, but I can't. I don't have a fast way of getting through this because I don't have a computer anymore. So there's no way for me to um video edit this. So I apologize. You guys can just I'll probably put an annotation that says skip to whatever part it is. Yeah, there's just soft boiling and protecting and th him thunderbolting and then he gets a crit eventually. Cause you know that's just my luck. I 
hate stall, but like I didn't have any other way to combat this guy. Yeah, I think this is where the battle actually gets interesting again. So I go for the soft boiled. He predicted he's just going for calm lines because he thinks we're gonna stall this out, but no. So he's tired of this. He doesn't want it anymore because you know I can outstall him. So then he goes into his Reggie Rock. This is actual Reggie Rock, and then I get a freeze. So hooray for hacks. Revenge for getting that crit. <laughs> so I take out my Blissey. Get into my Rando Rousu, aka Megros. I am Scarfed, so I can only use one move. And uh, I go for the Meteor Smash. He doesn't want. He doesn't want to take any unnecessary damage. I'm guessing on any other Pokemon. And Reggie, <laughs> I get a crit. But hey, he's frozen solid anyway, so he switches out with the red dot sip for fodder later. He switches into this red gigas now. This is a special red gigas. It has an iron ball, but he gets pressure, so he has to switch out with the iron ball before he can really do anything. Then I get the attack boost. Now, if he would have stayed in, uh, that me mirror smash would have killed him since I got the attack boost. So he switches out into the Zapdos. And I get the mirror smash, get some decent damage on it. And you start wearing this thing down because it is quite tanky, considering how much power it has. And he's got leftovers too, so. And I missed the meteor smash. And then he gets a free hurricane. He thought I would switch into Nature King. Because the thunder was kind of obvious, but then I go for the meteor smash here. Meteor mash, sorry. Meteor Smash sound like Brawl, but then I get another attack boost. He predicts me to go into the Neo King this turn, I don't. So now if he. Then he crits me, so it's it's only fair because I got two crits before it and freeze. Um, no, I got one crit and a freeze, so. He withdraws his Zapdos, does not want to die. Goes into this Rotom, and he's this Meteor Smash. This is not actually his Rotom, this is his Hypno. He fires off his Hypno so he doesn't have to waste his Zapdos, which can. Still have some uh, use in the future. Then he sends in his actual Rotom. I'm scarfed. I'm faster. Hit him with a meteor smash. Meteor mash does almost half. I get the attack boost. Then he goes for the calm mind. Probably didn't think that I would do that much, and I got the attack boost, so it's going to do a lot of damage. But he does have the leftovers, and he has a speed boost. So then he goes for the T bolt, and I'm dead. So if he if he didn't hit me if that T bolt didn't kill me, I would have killed him with the meteor mash. Almost a meteor smash again. Too much brawl. Okay then. Here we're going with Alakazam, since I do have the size shock and I am sashed. So he goes for the calm mind. Because he might think I have the psychic or I might go for something else, but no, I go for the taunt. I ain't having that. And then I do have the size shock. He does have the speed boost, doesn't really matter though. Now he tries to get the flinch hacks with this air slash. I would have been so mad if he got it. But no, he doesn't. So I, I get the side shock off. Does a pretty decent amount of damage, but I'm gonna die off here. Yeah, this thing is a threat with speed boost and calm mind. Thing is a real threat, guys. Watch out. Okay, and then. Saying Khufu, the Egyptian god, this Nido King. He's gonna take this air slash like a champ. He is an Egyptian pharaoh. Did I just really say Egyptian god? No, he's an Egyptian pharaoh. Takes it like a beast. They're gonna kill him off with the ice beam. I did get a crit though. That probably mattered, most likely, because he had two calm minds up and he is max HP. So, yeah, then he sends in the Strategigas. Probably wants to switch off with his iron balls so he can get the choice scarf. I uh, just want- no, he's, he has fling, actually. Yes, here. He gets the fling to hit, take off his iron ball. So he kills my Egyptian pharaoh, I'm sad, because I love Nido King. Then sending Cruiser Krill, the Skyrim Dragon, aka Dragonite. And then he goes for the Mega Punch. I have the multi-scale, not going to take that much damage, going to go for the Dragon Dance. Get my leftovers. Get this Dragon Claw. I wonder if Dragon I can learn Drain Punch. It probably can't, but I wish it could. Get the crit. Didn't matter anyway. I was plus one max attack, max HP Dragonite. So it doesn't. That crit didn't matter even if Red Gigas is pretty bulky. 
This man sends in the Medigross. So, this, he's gonna, I'm gonna use the Earthquake. It's not gonna kill, because he's max HP, max attack, just like my Medigross. And then he uses the Meteor Mash. I'm bulky, so I'm gonna live this, just barely. Just barely. Yeah, and then, I know his, I, I, I have to go for the Extreme Speed. Because uh, his Bull Punch is gonna kill me. And, guess what? Crit! <laughs> so much hacks in this game, I swear. But yeah, I get the crit. I kill his Metagross. And me and him at this point, we are just laughing hysterically because that happened. Then he brings in the Zapdos. I'm gonna be able to get the G free Dragon Claw. Kill off the Zapdos. So yeah, that crit saved me from Metagross right there. I, I'm gonna have to run Damage Calc. Damage Calc. See if it actually would have killed, but I highly doubt it would. <laughs> then here's his Regirock. Gonna see, <laughs> he wanted me to see if it, the Extreme Speed would kill, and it couldn't. Because he has max 200 defense, and then he kills me off with the Stone Edge. So then it comes down to Regirock versus Blissey, and, well, you, you already know who won. You already know who won. Jiggles. This Blissey, this annoying piece of crap. Hit him with an Ice Beam. You're done. So yeah, that was, <laughs> that was a pretty hacksy and fun battle. So, peace.